Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Star Ladder Island Season 13 in Southeast Asia playoff round. The game between First Departure uh, from Singapore versus Fnatic from uh, Malaysia. Wait, let me take a look at that. Hello? Test? Hello? Okay, should be fine. Okay. Uh, in base of three series. And you are here with me, Cyclops, as your card. So this is the third, uh, the third game of the series, and the game score is one-one. Man, whoever loses this game, they gotta Ten go down to the remaining. to the loser bracket. And trust me, loser bracket Five is no remaining. joke, man. It's so hard. Whoever loses this game will go down to meet. Uh, Dire team back. Team one, two, three. Fanatics tomorrow. Turn to ban. Dire team pick. Dazzle and Winter Vivern. First two banned from Team Fnatic. That's quite interesting. They banned the two defending supports from First Departure. And first pick Juggernaut from First Departure. Fanatics you know, the first pick. game, uh, K Faraday play Hatska, right? But I'm pretty sure that this game is might be K Faraday on Juggernaut mid. Tusk and Earthshaker banned. Fanatic, what are gonna play? Queen of Pain in stock. Chow Fiend as well. Remaining. Slada too. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Bane and Dire team pick. um Slada. Okay, this Bane is quite interesting. He can stop that juggernaut, like completely stop juggernaut. Uh, this is not looking good for first departure. His fiend creeps can catch juggernaut when he uses Red Fury. Slada just. Mm. Now I think if it is Ohio Slada, well that's something scary for a first departure. Five seconds remaining. As you can see the two games of Team Fnatic, Ohio is, is actually time. the only player that can maintain his standard right from the first game that he played Bad Rider. The first game Fnatic lost because so many reasons, but absolute, absolutely not uh, by Bad Rider. He he did pretty good job. And now I started to feel like this is his day for uh, for Ohio. I mean, if he uses Lada as an off laner, it's gonna be high chance for Fnatic to win the game. Spending so much time for first departure, you know, uh, <laughs> man. Like it's like obviously because they have to play with fanatic Bane and Salada, first departure. Spend too much time on the second pick. First departure need to do something. They need to get a brain support first. Or maybe just get a mid hero so um, Queen of Pain is not bad as well. 25 seconds left for the reserve time. They need to do something for first departure. They spend too much time on the first two pick. 17 15. Where are they? They are not disconnected. They just. Ten seconds remaining. And they got disrupted and they only Dare have 10 seconds left. Fanatics turn to ban. Wind Ranger third ban from Team First Departure. Now Hatska ban. Dire Team ban. I don't think it's going to be an alchemist. 
But if they pick Alchemist for Fnatic, I I kind of worry about Alchemist because uh, it's obviously Ten that K for the day will be on Juggernaut mid with Alchemist. Fanatics turn to ban. Fourth ban from Team Fnatic. Still got plenty of time for for Fnatic to. Um, they have Slada. If they go for if they go Reserve for Alchemist, time. they need to ban out that Lion. In case they want to go for Alchemist again. We still have Queen of Pain, which is very good pick. Fanatics turn to pick. Wiper ban. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Since uh, the drop is still pretty passive. I'm gonna do like one more time, Five like I always do. Uh, feel free to type it down where are you watching this game in the world uh, so I can do some hometown shout out for you guys. If this is your first time tuning into our channel, Dota, Dota Star Ladder uh, English, feel free to click below on the follow buttons. It would be great. Thank you so much for your support on our, on our tournament and thank you. For a star ladder organizer that giving me a chance to cast is such a wonderful tournament and it's first departed gyrocopter this Fanatics one. Turn to pick. Fanatics turn to pick. Gyrocopter, disruptor, and juggernaut. Uh, picking all these heroes will. I don't know, they they need some time to remaining. Oh my and Red King Dire again. Pick. It's gonna be Red King by ADDR for sure. Visage and Bane. Man, I I'm just Absolutely, I'm gonna play Red King in my MMR game because because it's a hero that you don't have to think much. It's Fanatics a brain dead hero. So all you need to do is just get a blade mail and run in like a goddamn Spartan. That's all. So, um, Fnatic gonna do the same thing again. He's just gonna go for uh, a Red King power trade, blade mail, and maybe a Radiance after this. You see how strong it is. You know, and and Five with this Red remaining. King, he actually can. Hang the damage of Omni Sledge. Reserve time. Mm. Phantom Lancer back. last ban. Fanatics turn to pick. comes last band. Ten seconds okay, say hi to the guy from Newcastle, uh, Australia, Five Peru. Viva Peru, they say in Rotterdam, Canada, Germany, Reserve time. Melbourne, Maryland, South Pole, UK, and Priviet from Russia. Say hi to all the guy from Indonesia, Salam. Uh, Filipino, hi, Bonilla. Thank you so much for tuning Bonilla. in to our Star Ladders. Dire team um, pick. Hola, for the guys who come from Spain. Last pick, Lena. Mm, mm. 
But have you noticed something? That Fnatic doesn't have hero that can push. Now, in case I, I, if Ten first it's hard to pick remaining. some off lane that actually can push, something like a Brute Mother or some Wuja, and yeah, no maybe a Madness, not bad actually. Alright, uh, they finish. Okay. Okay, the last game of the best of three series is here, guys. We are in the game. I'm gonna do some quick intro first. Who play who in this game? For Fnatic in the Radiant side, Mushi on Lina, his signature heroes on mid lane for sure. DJ on Visage, EDTR on Red King, Net on Bane, Ohio on Slada. Just like what we said, man. Ohio is just gonna be on Slada. For first departure on the uh, dire side, K for the day on Juggernaut, Mid, Cal on Magnus, Lobby on Rubik, QVD on Gyrocopter, and Kai on this connect. I'm um, sorry. Uh, disruptor. Alright, are you guys lady ready? It's gonna be awesome match for sure. ADTR on Red King like usual, he just got his enchanted mango. Net. It's actually work that, that aside ADTR some heroes that only have one skill. Because the first game they assigned uh, Gyrocopter to ADTR and he seems a little bit um, uh, confusing or maybe um, his positioning is not good. Uh, so he lost in the lane but he's perfect for the Red King ADTR and he did so good in, in a second game and I'm pretty sure that he's gonna do again here. But hey, we might see a big team fight right from the start right here. Mushi just trying to harass that cow. Cow trying he didn't add his any skill yet. He tried to add skill Lappy going down and telekinase on Mushi and stun on three. He started off with a blade field spin everyone. Oh god he's spinning my mill check brings all the boy to the river and now it's a trade dome so Lada got first kill on K for a day in big trouble. Keep on chopping body blocking K for a day one hit they could oh my K for a Oh my, that is pretty hard team fight over there. Just take a look at that. Two down, they lost Juggernaut too. I kind of surprised that they placed Juggernaut on the bottom lane with aggressive try lane and let that cow playing mid against Mushi. This is something that Team First, uh, I'm sorry, Team Fnatic didn't expect, for sure. Denied. Lena. 
arena. Just take a look at the bottom lane. It's a tri. What's this tri lane? What's this tri lane? Great King, Bane, and DJ. The positioning in this lane and this area is very really important. Whoever take control of this small area beside the lane, as you can see, Lappy trying to stay here. Uh, will most likely will win the lane. Top lane, I don't think they can do much to each other. QVD, he's gonna. Slada gonna do very. I I don't think they should leave the gyrocopter alone over there. Now let's take a look at bottom lane. Die double telekinesis is back. Uh, Fnatic DJ keep on spinning and an easy kill by K for the day. K for the day try to walk into a tree line. There's no mana left for to use his raid fire blast. Cut the tree out. Uh, try to kite him. Another raid fire blast comes out. Uh, but ADTR gonna go down after this. They got that one. What a hard fight here. K for a day got one kill I think. Yep, he's just gonna TP back. It's actually a 1-5 for Team First Departure. Man, like I told you guys, this is the last game and... It's gonna be... Disruptor. Net, Net need to be careful because Lobby with a boot... Underlie with a boot... That means if he get to you and one telekinesis can easy kill anyone in this lane. KVD doing pretty okay, you know. It's not that easy to lane against Lada. Middle lane Cal. 10 lasted. So close this game. for a day now instead oh our game started off with the telekinesis lock him down in a circle DJ try to fly away now this is not good this is not good FD first departure K for a day now hellfire blast but he tried to look at that micro control of the healing ward but however he died in the end fanatic net Dropping low, stuck in the circles. Kinetic storm, static field. The first part of Kai. Fable comes out, chopped him down. The Red King with a double kill. ADTR. Jeez. Um. Well, I kind of understand ADTR that he's. Well, every time that that Fnatic lost Dyer's a game, he always be the one to blame. Who got, you know, to blame. But I think that's because he, he have to play and replace the, the old play the ex player. So he's a decent player. Oh man, I should not Now he's showing us that he's gonna do a good job in this best of three series. He got three kills already for ADTR. <laughs> You know, I used to have that feeling too, but hey, they're gonna dive in for ADTR. ADTR just pop up his magic stick, uh, Telekinesis is back, someone TP down by Fnatic Net, setting up Static Field. I'm sorry, Catholic Field. They all stuck in there. ADTR trying to throw a Raid Fire Blast, and they're being crushed by Ohio coming from the top lane. This guy coming from nowhere, crushing everyone like a goddamn slaughter. And now another crash comes out uh, on FD Kai. This is not looking good at all. And killing spree by ADTR. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. With the help of Slada, they actually winning the the tri lane for Team Fnatic. Oops. Here we did level six already. Better be careful. Okay, Faraday got two kills. But don't underestimate the power of Juggernaut because this guy, K Faraday, he was named as the god of battles in in Southeast Asia. That means he's the kind of carry that really, really good in 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 like in team fight. That's his signature. He's 
he just okay in farming. He's not that fast farmer. But when it comes to team fight, this guy is one of the best in Southeast Asian right here. You can count on him. You know, sometimes even me, I sometimes I feel useless. But then I remember I bred out carbon dioxide for plants. That makes me feel a lot better. Now let's take a look at here. QVD gonna go down because of a little bit clutch. Shooting your toe up some chance by DJ. Now what they need to do is just diving in and here we go, okay Faraday and his friends diving in, spin around the ADTR, all stuck in kinetic field. They cannot throw a fire blast on K Faraday. He's just gonna get away with his healing reward. K Faraday is all at some chance by Fanatic DJ. So they didn't crash on FD Kai and Kai go down. The first 10 kills goes to Team Fanatic. That it's brilliant early game for Team Fnatic. They start the game so aggressive, especially on the try lane. So it's hard that they need to rethink again that, you know, they keep going back to the try lane is like banking their head on the wall. <laughs> Moji 1.7k gold. I'm not sure what he's gonna buy now. He's just gonna go straight for an ill scepter for sure from Moji. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Power spread. Strength. Denied. Top lane gyrocopter. Amplify damage. Gyrocopter with a face boot. Now I think uh, the first departure hope is also gyrocopter. Once he starts to join the team fight with his call down along with his teammates, I think mm, I think Dyer's the team fight will be better a lot. Juggernaut still level five, he needs to get his six. But it's kind of hard to farm here since um, first is part of the plan is here to kill. But it seems like they are here to get killed. To be killed, I mean. And yeah, it, it's, their plan, their initial plan is not working. Now with the. They gotta let it go. Now they can't stop this combo anymore. Nightmare, Red Fire Blast, and so Assumption is too strong. They need to do something. I think at least rotate this K for a day to, to mid or whatever that he can farm. This is like using K for a day as an off lane, which is not good at all. Magnus, however, managed to get a, a good farm in the middle lane against Mushi. Radiance top tower is under attack. Okay, for a day, a nightmare for him. be still level 4 okay we farming pretty good like like I told you guys that the game is not over yet even though the everything seems so bad for team first departure but one skyrocopter hey skyrocopter but first thing you need to stop getting ganked by the two heroes called out comes out amplify that makes great fire blast he's still waiting for the support where is the support it's so oh my god this support is so slower than an internet explorer but however they are here and save the hard carry he was so low oh how you're going it's a little bit quite throwing a red fire blast the support trade its life for the hard carry ADTR Great King Sage K for a day was done. Now finally he got some time to farm. 
uh, after they left the lane, but Ohio trying to gank mid. It's gonna be madness, but I don't think it will be that easy. Muji try to go in, use an and oh, before he skill were away, Muji just use, but hey, Lumpy coming in, Telekinesis on Ohio, someone TP down, Laguna Blade actually kills at Madness, but Muji gonna go down as well, they might get Ohio too, but Ned coming in, trying to save that Ohio, amplify damage on Lumpy. It's a trade, a glimpse back by Ned, Ned to the tower, Telekinetic field, but Lin, Locked down that Bane and Juggernaut just in that slaughter. Oh god, the fight is everywhere. Juggernaut was chopped down by the Raid King, dominating ADTR. 14 to 6 game score. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Raid King just. Radiant 11 12 minutes part. Gonna show you guys some items update and I'm just gonna sipping some water. This is actually my sixth game for today. Oh, that's awesome. Someone TP down. Okay, for the day. Nice using Blade Fury to dodge that uh, Red Fire Blast. All of the heroes of Team Forty Parcher are here, but it seems like ADTR doesn't know about that. Telekinesis is locked down. ADTR, Infinite Builder, where are you gonna go? ADTR, ADTR, where are you gonna go? Skewers, and here we go. An ultimate coming up from Magnus. ADTR still stays strong, and he's still there. Finally, oh my, DJ, at least they got something back out of this team fight. DJ is so assumption that disrupted down, but they lost ADTR, which is a high bounty target. This is not looking good. DJ. Is under attack. 15 to 7 game score. Magnus structures are fortified. Gonna go for the next item, Blink Dagger. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle Hell. tower. Okay. Oh, setting up an ultimate because he was a bit too low and his positioning is not good as well. <laughs> Hi. Now, okay for a day. Radiant's Time to chase down Fnatic DJ. Attack. That guy kills a lot this game. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Like I told you guys, it seems like QVD just started to join a team fight that he need to because his teammate need him. Hey for a day. Oh my. That's going to be an easy kill. Wrong way, wrong direction. Spain. I, if we're talking about the hero lineup, I kind of like Fnatic lineup. This one, you know, the only weakness of Fnatic is they don't actually have a, a pusher, a pusher that that can push back. But uh, in terms of the battle, I mean team fight power, they are ten out of ten. All of their heroes is is a, they are team fighters. Now ADTR, he kind of played different from last game, you know, instead of going, staying lane and trying to uh, farm, now he's destroying the team fighter. Oh, RP coming out, they got Ohio, Slada goes down, a nice game. Fnatic, however, smoke to the top lane, gonna come from the sideway, and, and another one from the, in the front, uh, Raid King gonna go in first because he still got reincarnation I think first partner need to retreat it one uh, it's not good uh, K for a day where is K for a day when you need him he's not he's not here oh my someone got glimpse back eighteen to eight game score now it's a good chance for Team Fnatic to push in, try to take down the top tier one power. Dyer's and another thing, I got a uh, congratulations for uh, Filipinos that ESL one Dota two will be 
will be held in Manila. It's a pretty big step as a as a Southeast Asian caster like me, and I'm I'm very happy about this news. And I hope Dyer's it's gonna be great, great event. Fallen. I wish I could be there. But, uh, Ohio with a blink dagger, that's attack. quite fast. Um, Tuan Kru food and a blink dagger. Now let's see what he's gonna do. He got his invisibility rune. He's gonna 5k for the day somewhere. Oh. Got that lobby. So absumption. Dominant thing by Fanatic DJ. That's the good thing of this. Oh, but wait, the net gonna go down and got caught by Kao and Kai. This Kao Kai body is so strong now. Dropping a call down. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Muji with a boot of travel. You accept the divinity that's gonna go for the next Radiant item. Um, Agony Scepter. Okay, for our day, just gonna go for a Shadow Blade, which is Double Knot. While Gyrocopter trying to skip a BKB and going for Sentin Yasha. Quite interesting. Amplify damage on Kel, the Laguna Blade already, and here we go, RP before he died. That is actually a good RP though, setting up Catholic Field, Static Storm, uh, came for the day. Oh, it's not the time to chop the pay, bro. You gotta fight something. First, he had the Lappy, he had Fire Blast on him. Lappy is going down, uh, Rubik is gone, uh, Blade Fury and coming in, perfect timing by QED, cleaning everyone, they all so clean, uh, QED. And so Assumption, he died anyway. Kefra Day is going to be the next one coming back in his second life, throwing a Raid Fire Blast and another Lord kill. ADGR is on fire right now. <laughs> 1.3k gone his pocket. I remember the, his favorite heroes is Trian Protector for ADGR. I remember back then when he is the drafter for uh, in Team Invasion, he always draft the Trian Protector. They are actually the only team in the world that play Trian Protector. <laughs> <laughs> so indie. <laughs> Alright, I gotta give, I, I gotta inform you guys that uh, um, tomorrow we still have two matches of Star Ladder if you uh, want some good matches attack. right this uh, you, you can tune in tomorrow and it's gonna be me as a caster until the end of playoff I guess What I'm looking at is is Fanatic DJ and DJ and Ohio is actually playing really good this one. You know they they're always ganking together. As you can see, Slada blinking, Slytherin crutch follow up with the Soul Assumption. They are like what what's it called? They are like Samwise Ganji and Frodo in this game. And we say it's just he, he's about to get his acronym chapter. What about our gyrocopter? His item build is kind of weird. Okay, so he's now trying to get a BKB, but the problem is they got a bane, which is which is can use fin grip on you even though you are on BKB. Muji with a BKB and use scepter of divinity, boot of travel. Now a big smoke coming out of Team First Departure, they're kinda confident about that. Leading by K for the day, he's gonna find someone, they're all trying to tie in a three liner, they found that net K for the day. Oh what a preparation by Team Fanatic! K for the day didn't even know that they placed an optimal, uh, I'm sorry, a sentry ward there and in a disaster for Team First Departure. 
that is next level anticipation by Team Fnatic. They know the character, they're gonna lead the party. They place the sentry and they got everything that they need. They got three kills from first departure, Ohio. Dreams back, but first departure, Kai is still stuck there and stunning. What a good play by Ned. He knows that Kefra Day is gonna come in, so he plays a lot of sentry ward. So once he saw Kefra Day, he just used his fiend trips and that's it over. They lost three, they lost ages and they I don't wanna say that yet, but it's gonna be really hard for first departure to come back in this game. If you take a look at the graph. ADTR ADTR with a blink dagger instead of going for a radiance this one he's just gonna get a blink dagger radiance top tower is under attack just got it here we go ADTR a blink dagger so he's just he's gonna play a little more aggressive for raid king Now smoke comes out from Team Sma uh, Fanatics, going to the high ground. This is not looking good for Fanatic because um, first Departed got the high ground, but yeah, they get rid of this Raptor real quick. Monster kill by the Weezays, and the next one is going to be a Lobby. Lobby tried to use like Lee's before he died, but that's it, a double kill. The Ill Scepter on himself for Lina. 28-11, game score. Lada. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Man, this is this ADTR is just actually, you know, suddenly just playing good. If you if you see his first game gyrocopter, you Dying see that hey what attack. is he doing? But it's like now he's haunted by by the raid or something. He's so haunted right now and he's so powerful with his raking. 1.5k go in his pocket, he stand in front He's gonna max his vampiric aura because he know that he's gonna be good for his teammates in the team fight Now Juggernaut with a mask of madness and Chow blade To be honest, I think it's still got chance for a first departure but They need a Superman RP like Four or five guy RP, something like that, and follow up with a call down, uh, um, kinetic field, static storm, whatever it's combo, wombo. Oh, nice kill by K for a day. Let's just use the shout blade away. Ned doesn't have any detection. TP down to a god boy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Fnatic DJ solo kill someone in the middle lane. It's Skyrocopter lost to Fnatic DJ with a solar craze, an Aghanim Scepter for a support. This is scary. Kills in a row for Fnatic DJ. Okay, here we go. Bang on the smoke, trying to catch someone, but going on the high ground once again. Cow blinking to the doing touch, easy kill on the mid laner. Slims them back. Kai walk away. Kai died anyway. 31 to 12. For the race key. Now they need to make sure that they will win this game. Like they need to try to secure the game. Because we saw um, 
a big comeback in the first match between TNC versus 1-2-3. 1-2-3 was like um, 30 to 14, just like this, and they lost in the end. So, don't underestimate power of K Faraday. are leading the party as usual. He's gonna go for uh, Assault Grass next. Dropping a call down. Dyer's middle tower Red King has got fallen. it. On his way to uh, assault crash. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Now it's gonna be hard for Team First Departure to see. Okay, um, DJ is trying to use his gargoyle to split pushing every lane, so um, it's gonna be really hard for First First Departure to push out or trying to get the the mid or top tier one tower. Big smoke. Finally, attack. first departure started to attack on Team Fnatic. But they blink away. Dyer's like I mentioned earlier, if attack. you want to win the fight, which is such a big item gap between two teams, you need a Superman RP for first departure uh, from Cal. You need to RP for like two or three heroes. Or we start it up with a kinetic field first. Going on top. Radiance middle tower is under attack. The game is a little bit passive right now. Juggernaut just got his item, not sure. It's about fury for Juggernaut. So yeah, just like I mentioned earlier, still got some chance to win the game. But K for the day, run into Lina Mochi. He was deleted so quick. Uh, now I think he may need to just, just retreat. Magnus was killed by Fnatic DJ. Oh man, I don't think they have a buyback. Yep, because Juggernaut just top tower is under bought his Bell Fury. Well, we cannot blame him on that because if you take a look at his vision, he barely have vision in his own in his own NC. Can't see anything. Very good map control Dyer's by Team Fnatic. gonna do a risky play again for Team First Departure. They barely have visions on anywhere in the map. They're just trying to smoke out. Oh, they are smoking. Leading my cave for a day. He walked past uh, every single hero of Team. I don't know why he go out like that. Oh! I really don't get it. Like, I mean, I mean, your item gap between two teams is too big, as you can see. Items are so different. 
like Francis Thatcher are so underfarm in this game. Uh, instead of waiting on a high ground, uh, waiting for Fnatic to make a mistake, they try to do some risky play going in with a with a shadow blade, which is which is net is already played sentry all, all over the map. So I don't think that's a good idea just now. Trying to play some observer wards right here, but it seems like uh, Mushi spotted that, and I think this one gonna be dewarded soon. ADTR assault crash and blade mail. He's ready for the fight. He he got his uh, blink dagger as well. ADTR Red King gonna jump in. Care for a day once again. Gonna get caught. He tried to use his blade fury away. But I got, we gotta respect that man, you know, that man K Farade is trying to come back real hard, he tried to farm wherever he can, he's not gonna easy, you know, type GG like Southeast MMR team, uh, type GG every, uh, every day. I mean, every time I play in Southeast Asia, uh, Southeast Asia MMR, there must be one guy who, who just, you know, type GG since we lost the first blood and then whenever someone dies in our team, he's just gonna type GG, 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 GG. So. Okay, for our day. Not gonna back down, he's trying to use his child blade, trying to find someone so he can do the Omni Slash. Right here. Kai and Cal. And easy road down for the Fnatic. I'm gonna show you guys some uh, buyback status right here. As you can see, the only guy in Team Fursy Pass that I can buy back is Rubik. Well, that's not a good news. Slada with Chow Blade. Oh, Blinken! Said it doing much. Just in time for QED. He pop up his Mender Cyber. What a bag from Slada! Dropping a call down and he died anyway. 25% chance for Slada to badge. Thirty-five kills of Team Fnatic. Now they are down to here, trying to push in the mid-tier three towers of the dire side. ADTR, telekinesis, ADTR back to base. What are they gonna do? ADTR. He got two lives. This is, this is so third life. He, he, he didn't even afraid of anything or even a police or whatever. He just yeah, come. Oh my God. There's nothing that can stop ADTR from taking down power. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, I'm sorry, in the middle lane, K for that day trying to cut the creep way. I don't think that's gonna help because there are two creeps coming in. Dragonist is on ADTR, a Magnus RP on only one target, trying to take down the Muji, but Muji the pop up is BKB, they can't barely dealing any damage to Muji. BKB popped out by QED as well, he's just come back from day, the play team by ADTR, pop up is BKB, he's just gonna chop everyone down like a butcher. Fnatic DJ, Jesus coming out. And look at that on this large, gonna do that much damage. FD QED. 
triple kill for Fnatic Mochi and that might be the time. It's a DD call coming out from Team First Departure. Congratulations for Team Fnatic. They won over First Departure 2-1 to one game and they proceed to the next round to meet DNC tomorrow. Oh my. What a great series. Two matches for today. That is awesome. Thank you so much everyone and also thanks for the team that performed really good that we got uh, really good matches. Thank you so much. Uh, so tomorrow is going to the first match is going to be team first departure versus team one two three, and the second match will be Fnatic versus team TNC. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for today. That you know keep uh, that tune in right from the start. If I did anything wrong or if if I say something wrong during the cards or if my because my English is not that good, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'll try my best to improve it. Uh, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. And thank you, thank you very much. I'm just gonna say goodbye with one last song. And see you tomorrow. Let's say goodbye with this song. <laughs>